You may have seen him on McDonald's Olympic Games commercials, but he's no Apollo Ono or Evan Lysacek. His name is Sean Halstead, and later this week he's headed from his home in Rathdrum to Vancouver to compete in the Paralympic Games. He's been training for years to race against some of the best athletes in the world. KXLY4 Sally Showman spent a day with Sean as he trained, and uh, Sean didn't always see himself doing this. No, about 12 years ago, he thought his life was over when he lost the use of his legs. 12 years later, he's among the best in his sport. He will compete in three cross-country skiing events. Sean sees the competition as a platform to share his message that it's not good enough to just exist. People have to live their lives. The exertion, the heart rate, the lactic acid building up in your body that you can taste it. High atop Mount Spokane, just about every day. This is where you'll find Sean Halstead. This is a great drug. I mean, I love it. A heavy dose of adaptive cross-country skiing helped Sean realize life doesn't stop with tragedy. I don't see why anybody wouldn't want to be addicted to this drug. In 1998, Sean was in the middle of an Air Force search and rescue drill, hanging from a rope 40 feet above the ground. I fell off the fast rope for some reason, and I don't remember why. My brain just deleted that. The fall paralyzed his legs, shattering his L1 vertebrae and his spirit. For a year, I thought, well, if this is what my life is going to be like, I don't want it. Before the fall, Sean was a runner. I was a cross-country runner at Mead High School. A collegiate athlete. At Washington State, I was a rower. He dove out of planes and deep underwater. I used to have to jump out of an airplane at 10,000 feet to be happy before. His recovery was as much mental as it was physical. It basically was exposing me to people who did stuff that showed me, oh, time to get done with this pity party. He found inspiration in other paraplegic and quadriplegic athletes. My first games was in Puerto Rico, of all places, um, and quads are going out to the bars at night, hitting on girls, which to me was like, you can't do that. You're in a chair. Within a year, he rediscovered his passion for sports. I can either sit and still be upset, or I can actually try to do something. With each push of the poles, each climb uphill, Sean is preparing. I'm the only winter Paralympic athlete in the area that I can think of. The only Paralympic spouse in the area is Sean's wife, Sarah. They were married a year before his accident. Since then, they've had three kids, five-year-old twins Riley and Ethan and five-month-old Keeley. His family will be cheering as six years of practice hopefully pays off in Vancouver. The focus is definitely on winning. He has three races, three chances to earn a gold. If I were to get a medal, which I hope, you know, that's the goal, then I can bring that back and that'll propel me in my message. A message that success is defined by doing the best with the life you're handed. It's heart-wrenching for me to find somebody who's, you know, been put in a chair and watch them think that their life is over, watch their mom push them around. Sean knows well, in sports, as in life, the harder you push uphill, the more likely you are to win. There's life to live. Sean says for the first few years he was paralyzed, he'd look at other paraplegic and say, wow, can you believe what that guy just did? He said he now wants to be that guy inspiring others with disabilities to take advantage of the abilities that they have. Incredibly inspirational for everybody. Yeah, does he train with anybody or does he go by himself? He says he is the only adaptive cross-country skier that he knows in the area. So he is inviting anyone who wants to come out and join him to get a hold of him. You can do that. Go through me. My email is sallyes at kxly.com. He says he needs training buddies. So yes. anyone who's interested in doing this. It seems like quite a sport. He says you really earn your downhills. Definitely, <laughs> and he really is an inspiration. Mm -hmm. We should all be getting out there and doing what, we, what we're what we thinking that we can't do. Exactly. Awesome. Sally, yeah. thanks. Thank